These boards are a janky repair. It's supposed to have a splash board here with some trim molding, so I was gonna put it back the right way. Ugh, but then lifting this stuff up and it's all like termite damage and rotted, so we gotta pull all this off and see how bad it goes. Do you guys want to see what termite tubes look like? Do you see all this dirt? This is what termites have brought up in here to make little channels and live in here and eat my house. So if you see this cakey dirt and stuff, and these, I mean, this is so classic termite. I don't feel like inhaling termite poop. See, it looks okay on the outside, but it's not. Them little nasty suckers eat your wood from the inside, so you never even know. Turns out we're gonna have to replace this whole fascia board piece. We're trying to save some other ones. Uh, but the good news is that the rot doesn't go into the corner beam up more than about halfway. So we may have to replace that section, but the rest is gonna do okay, I think. So this piece right here clearly added because they knew there was some sort of rot issue going on. This corner way up here in the roof is where water would drip down off that corner. It would splash down right here and then splash right back up onto the house. That's why this house really needs some sort of gutter or some sort of like ground cover that absorbs the splashes. So they cut this out. They knew it was rotted and they added this piece. But since then you can tell the termites just kept on going. As soon as it's wet, it makes the wood like buffet go crown for them and they just munch, munch, munch all the way up. Oh, all right, look man, look at that. Now, yeah. Yeah, this is going to come out too. Yeah. Keep digging, we'll be inside soon. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to end up doing is pulling off these individual clabbers. We'll try to save them. Might not be able to, but because they are nailed to this corner beam and it goes behind them. And you can tell where they did that before in the past. See up here, this is old paint where they just painted over. And right here they started. These are newer pieces that they put in. So they've had to do the same thing in the past. And here we are doing it again, but what we're gonna do is solve the water problem that started to begin with. So hopefully, this won't have to be done again. Okay, we don't wanna disturb these, that's what holds the walls in. You see here, this is the core of the beam that they used, and you see we cut out where they had they, all the rot, and you see all this we stopped, because that's where it stopped. And right here, is where it's still good wood and that's what's hanging us up trying to like get this out so we can just put in some new pieces. We've got basically everything that we're going to cut out of it because any more and we're going to start uh, risking the integrity of the plaster walls inside because these are the inside walls right here. So what we're going to do is take some two by fours and build out a new beam here and then where this one is we're going to add this is was a stud. We're going to cut a stud up under here and then sister it beside it in here and tie them all in together. We're finally back on track because how little delay because somebody got like a spider bite that may or may not have been shingles and was out for like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Did you have enough chiropractor visits? What had happened here before was when there was termite damage, all of these clabbers and stuff were ruined. So what they did was they tore out all the ones that were rotted, all this stuff down here, and instead of putting it back the way it was, with splash boards, with drip edge, with this corner column. They didn't do that. They just ran the clabbers all the way down, all the way around. And it'll look right. So we're putting it back exactly the way it was supposed to be. So you have 
a splash board all the way around, a drip edge all the way around, our corner column starting here, clabbered stopping here. So this is the piece that was cut off by the idiots. It's a little drip edge. So as water might run down, it hits here and comes out and drips down and not into your foundation. I had to make this, oh, we need to do that a little stronger. Anyway, we're gonna put the final clabbered up under here and so it's going to be beveled just like this. It's going to sit here. And then we're going to add our bed molding, which goes right up under here. And then we got to caulk it and paint it. And we're done. What we got to do is the way these things are nailed together is you have a clapboard that comes up. The next one is, is right over top of it. And you nail through both of them. So the problem that we're having is that we can't fit a, a replacement one up under here because it's hitting these nails. We found the best trick is to take some pry bars, pry the clabber out just a little bit, it will pull the nails with it, and then we push the clabber back down, the nail stays and pushes and pokes back out through the end, and then we can pull it. Just going. Yeah, we got our only board that they even had that would be even close to the thickness. $25 board, awesome. So we got it up there and we're nailing it like way it's hitting against this and like it's supposed to because you want it to be down below this for the water but then we're like well wait what we're gonna have a gap here and we're not up here and i was like oh i remember now these bottom ones are supposed to be notched to allow for this drip edge here so we're gonna take it off and we're gonna notch it and put it back on fun times look it's now right there he lied to you. I mean, people have stupid finger Clearly, joint boards. finger joint You get this $25, it's like, hold on. Selling piece of junk. For 25 like bucks, no guy, less. If it's just thing, if he don't know, say, I'm, I don't know. But he's like, no, no. Yeah, these are soft. Look at that, finger joint it. You know why we don't use those outside? Because that's what water gets in. The old prime. Ah! Oh! What happened was the board that we were putting here, the only one they had at the store long enough in the thickness that I needed, turned out to be finger jointed. We don't like that. We don't put that outside. Well, at that point, it was like four o'clock on Saturday. So none of the like good lumber yards were open, hardware stores, nothing. So we used some scrap boards that I had here. Just ripped them down, and just pieced them in here. Put them in, cause I didn't want to leave it wide open in case it rained, which it did, you know, for a couple days. And we just pieced these pieces in down here. I know it looks janky. I'm trying my best here. I mean, I don't know. I know it looks junky. I'm gonna figure out something to do with it to shed water. I'm gonna caulk it. Maybe I'll redo it, whatever. But for right now, like, I'm the only one that even knows how to like mill a piece like this and get it in here. It's all not straight. Leave me alone. I'm new at this. So, primed it, let it go, show up next morning, and everything's gone. They broke in right here, smashed this window, went in, and took everything. All my tool, everything, every single tool that I own, everything was gone. So can't do any work. And it's been sitting like this for a month, and yeah, a lot to work, work to do out here anyway. You know, I still gotta like fix where they cut these sills. Still need to put the molding back up over the windows right up there. So we're not done out here. Uh, but as far as getting the termite damage cut out and cover back up. I mean, we, we basically got it done. It still looks kind of janky. It's not gonna stay like that, but given everything that's happened for right now, it's gonna stay like that. <laughs>